Hey, I'm Matt, and welcome back to another RSD tutorial. Today's video is going to be quick and easy. We're taking a look at Adobe Photoshop's object selection tool. Uh, it was first implemented in around November of 2019, but since then, they've continued to grow on it and refine it. So uh, now it's probably one of my most used, and it helps me get through a bunch of quick edits. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the program and take a look at it. If you'd like to follow along and use the exact same photos I'm using, uh, be sure to check out the blog in the description and download the working file. Okay, so today we're going to be going over Adobe Photoshop's object selection tool. Like I said in the intro, it's been around since 2019, late 2019, uh, but they've done their best to refine it. And now that it's you know 2021, it's gotten to a point now where it's a lot easier to use. Uh, first things first, I'm going to show you how to find the tool. And if you're in Essentials uh, workspace, more than likely your magic wand is going to be selected off rip. So if you just click and hold that magic wand, it'll show up underneath here, be nestled underneath with the quick selection. Uh, and they all have the same shortcut. So whatever one you have actively selected on your toolbar, if you use that shortcut, that's the one that will uh, activate. So for now, we're just going to use Object Selection Tool. I'm going to click and release, and we're ready to begin. Uh, this tool does have two different modes, a rectangle and lasso. I'll be going over both of them here in this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the rectangle mode. If you can see up here, I'm going to have rectangle selected. And with our tool, I'm just going to, like I said, just draw a rectangle around the thing that I want to select, which is this coffee cup. I drag my marquee tool and let it do its thing. Okay, and after, it might take a while, but after a while, that selection will be made depending on how fast your computer is. Um, and as you can see down here, it's done pretty well. It's got all these curves that are on the side of the uh, coffee cup and it didn't grab any of the smoke. A lot of this has to do with the tolerance of your actual magic wand tool. So if you notice that it's grabbing too many things or too few things, what you can do is just come back to your magic wand and change this tolerance. I have mine just set at 20 for now. Uh, and that seemed to do okay. Uh, but as you see down here at the bottom of the cup, we kind of have a little bit of over spray or whatever you want to call it down into the uh, wood panel here if I just grab my whoops quick selection tool I'll come down here and if I hold option it changes this to a negative which takes it away and while holding option I'll just click ever so slightly the areas that I don't want and see how that selection tightens back up on the cup and without having to use the pen tool and without having to go crazy with the object selection tool. I've already made my selection around this cup in less than, what, 45 seconds. So it becomes very useful when, for those times that you don't have time to use the pen tool. And so with the selection made, we, if you wanted to delete the background, you're just gonna come up to selection, uh, inverse that so that we group everything, or we grab everything that's on the outside of the selection, not the inside, and just smash the delete button, command D to get rid of our selection. And as you can see, we have our cup. All right, now moving on to the lasso option or lasso mode of this tool. We're moving on to this new image here of these flowers. I'm gonna grab my lasso from the top. And I'll just zoom in here a bit to this flower on the outer edge. And let's just say that you wanted to select just the pink area of this flower or you know, not the leaves or the wooden door in the background or the concrete down here. With this lasso, option of the object selection tool what I'm going to do is just draw as close as I can to the object that I want to select doesn't have to be crazy precise either and then once we let go of the selection uh, we're going to let our computer take over and as you can see it's group it's grabbed everything that was relatively the same color in the selection so it forgot about the leaves it forgot about the background and it only grabbed what we wanted it to and for an image like this, where we don't want to delete the background or delete the actual selection, if you wanted to alter what was within the selection group, what we can do is, you know, once we've made that selection with our object selection tool, come down and create a adjustment layer. And I'm just going to do uh, hue saturation. And we can start playing with this, and change these, the color of these flowers all on their own, independently from the rest of the group. As you can see, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, it speeds up workflow and it comes in handy when you don't have time to pin tool everything. So if you found this video helpful, please leave us a like and consider subscribing here on YouTube. It helps us out a bunch. 
follow us on Instagram for more tips and tricks, and subscribe to our newsletter for all things RSD. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.